What's going on, my beat builders? You know, always like to show you I'm getting outside, so that encourages you to get outside and get out of your studio because there's more to life than just being in the studio and making music. But the reason why I'm out here, I want to give you a message. But first, I come out here to practice. So I have my little my little G-Wagon, as I call it, my cart, and this is all my DJ gear everything right here that I use to DJ. And I come outside and I like to practice and I play music outside for people. So I'm kind of like a busker, but I really don't accept music. But this is the main reason why I wanted to make this video. While I'm practicing my DJ and I thought about, are you prepared? Am I prepared? Let me give you some context. So I started my DJ journey this year and my goal was to get booked at least one time so not only did i get meet my goal i got booked for a second time and it was crazy so i met this one dj at an event i was doing i was actually doing a photo booth of um the photo booth where i would help people take pictures i get them all hyped up and everything like that well me and the lady we exchanged numbers just to keep in touch as DJs to see if things going on is, you know, you want to keep that circle tight. It's about networking and connecting. So then two weeks ago, I get a text out of the blue asking me, what am I doing that following weekend? So on Monday, she texts me and find out she double booked herself for a wedding. So this, I got a week to prepare for this wedding. And I'm like, of course I will take that gig. And mind you, I have a lot of experiences doing weddings. I work with an a entertainment company where I do weddings, but I've never DJed and emceed the whole wedding by myself. I just always had someone with me. So I said, of course I'm gonna do this. And eventually the gig comes up and it was a pretty low key event. It was a really good way to get my feet wet with some real world applications. And I learned a, a few things. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Now, I know you heard that before, but let me relate this to sync. So you, if you're new and you're just trying to get into your first library and you're frustrated, well, you don't know if or when you would get into a library. So the time that you're waiting, you need to be prepared. And what I mean by prepared is having your music right, having your albums prepared. I always tell new people, make themed albums. That way, if you need to pitch it to a library, at least you'll have a, a nice little solid album of 10 to 12 tracks that you can pitch, whether it be hip hop sports or drama or dramedy, comma or comedy, kids music, whatever it is that you do, have an album ready. So let's say it takes you six months to get into your first library. But each month you do a different themed album where well, you already built your collection. That's six albums of at minimum 10 tracks. So you got 60 songs and not to mention all the alternative versions that you need to make, like drum and bass edit, the instrumental only bed, um, edit, etc. So it's better to be prepared. So what I'm getting at is I wouldn't have been able to accept that gig if I wasn't prepared. So over the whole time th since January, I haven't been being booked, right? It's not that easy to try to establish myself in this market of trying to be a DJ. So, but I've been building my catalog. I've been working on my music. I've been finding new music. I've been listening to music, listening for transition points, editing the music, make sure it plays clean, make sure it plays correct. Also, I already have the equipment. I pre-brought the equipment and I brought all of my DJ stuff with the sync licensing money. So even though it's not a full-time income with the sync licensing, it's been afforded me the ability to get my equipment. So all the stuff that I showed you on the cart, I got because of the sync money. I have other speakers at home that I use when I do my events, the 12 inch speakers that I use for my wedding. I have it. I have a microphone already. My next big purchase is going to be a wireless microphone that I, I, I get. In the meantime, just going to rent. But I was able to take the gig because I was already prepared. I wasn't waiting around saying, oh, well, I think I want to do DJing. So no one's booking me. So I'm not going to buy anything. 
Now, if you broke and you don't have any money, you can't do that, right? But if you already have the music and the equipment, just make the music. Even if you get into a library, you're gonna be making music for free anyway, because most, more than likely, you're gonna be getting paid on the back end royalties. So it doesn't matter. You make the music now, you're gonna have the music and you have an asset. So let's say you get accepted to that library. And let's say it's right around some pivotal time of the year, something special coming out. Let's just say um, the NBA championships. Well, you already got three albums of hip hop action sports. And when you get in, the library say, hey, do you got this? And you like, oh, yes, I do. Why? Because I've been listening to the beat builder telling me to build up this stuff. Yes, you already have it. But if the NBA championships comes around, they say, hey, we need to quick turn around. And you like, oh, dang, I ain't got no music because I never thought I would get into a library. See, you wasn't being prepared. And it, it's so great to be prepared ahead of time. And I would say I'm still in the journey of preparing myself, even though I've been making music for 20 years. All those first 10 years were preparing me to do sync licensing. So even though I wasn't really thinking about getting my music on TV and film, I was still building my craft at that point. And then when I got ready, then I started to look for opportunities. And because I already had an established way to make music, I had connections and I knew what sound good, what doesn't. I was already ready when a, a library accepted me. I had plenty of music to just give them right off the bat. I didn't have to wait. And the, the faster I can get music to them, the faster I can get those back end royalties. So that's the tip for you. Stay prepared with your music. Always keep improving. I know you're probably doing that anyway because you just have a passion for music. But I just want to let you know, sometimes it does pay off to be ready. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Take it easy. Peace.